Resolution presented to the Board of Supervisors would change the name of the Brown County boat launch. Neil Lefebvre was murdered in the Sensible Wildlife Area in 1971. He was a game technician with the Warden Credentials when he was shot and killed by a violator. Records show he was in that wildlife area to post signs on the afternoon of September 24th, and he never returned. Lefebvre had a wife and two small children at the time of his death. Well, tonight's resolution was presented to board members to honor Lefebvre and his dedication to wildlife protection in northeast Wisconsin. And the night was special to his family as well. Local 5's Robin Oguinye picks up the story from there. It was nearly 50 years ago that Neil Lefebvre was killed right across the street from the Swamico boat launch, and the city plans to rename the launch after him. There were two moments of silence for Lefebvre. Wednesday night, the Brown County Board's vote was unanimous, and the Swamico boat launch will be renamed the Neil L. Lefebvre Swamico boat launch. The entrance sign that stands there now will be replaced with a new sign displaying the name. For Lefebvre's family, the name change is an honor, and Brown County Board supervisors say it's long overdue. It's nice for the future generations to, know, to show that he was the DNR out in the Swamico area. Um, and he was killed on, on duty. So it, it's, it's nice at least that his name will be there for long periods of time, even before, after my kids have kids and their kids have kids. Our game wardens and our DNR officials, I mean, they have a tough job and they come in contact with a lot of people every day and they, they do a very important service for our community and our state. In Brown County, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News. Thank you, Robin. Three organizations will pay for the cost of changing the sign. Those organizations are the Wisconsin Wardens Association, the Brown County Sheriff's Benevolent Association, and the Green Bay Fraternal Order of Police.